What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode, we are defending against a Prussian attack um, with, this, with one of their quite depleted armies. So let's get ready to defend. We only have one howitzer, so it has to be used intelligently. They have enough artillery to make a breach for sure, and I can't really stop them. So we're going to need to make sure we defend accordingly. But yeah, this this is very manageable. Um, but in the long term, what I think I need to do is to make peace with Russia once we've captured the next small territory. So I can focus entirely on this new threat. Okay, so let's... See, we get these def deployable defences, which are superb. So let's put some men on every set of artillery pieces on the walls. Keep the cavalry outside of the walls for now. The artillery can wait. How it says, get ready to fire. That leaves us with still loads of infantry, which is excellent. Okay, so what we want is... So you, you can't just put them like this, because they seem to just jump over them even though they're enemy, so you're going to want to make sure you put them something like this. If they run straight in, they die. Literally something like this. So their cavalry, as soon as it comes in, there's nowhere for them to go. Although, let's make, sh make sure we're not being too silly. Let's put some here, just in case. I mean, we've got enough. We've got enough um, infantry to do this. And then typically, one here is usually quite good. Keep our general inside, but behind cover. Okay, let's put a Grenadier Guards unit in the Command HQ. Two units like so. Line Infantry Guard inside the HQ. These units hold as reserves. Howitzers. Well, I mean, actually, we've managed to get one artillery piece to, to break or be destroyed. So let's let that keep happening, I suppose. So we're only playing with increased speed just while the enemy get into position. I mean, the enemy's really depleted. Really depleted. So I might not even change my, my howitzers. might not even get to deploy quick climb because they may just solely focus on trying to kill the enemy artillery. These men, once they get into position, they are going to they are going to get engaged by the men on the walls and turned around quite quickly. My howitzer could knock out that unit of heavy horse guard artillery. That would be great. They're trying to charge me because they don't like it. But they don't like their artillery being targeted. Ah, oh, short. So that gives enemy general. I mean, one of these tiny little units like this. I mean, it's not great content, but we've got to fight it. Just to try and keep our casualties low.
confused. <laughs> hey, they can actually hide. I mean, if you think that'll save you, you're mistaken. Because you can sit there and hide in the woods as much as you like. You will not survive. Still haven't killed this artillery piece yet. Killed two of its crew. Yeah, they don't know what to do. Expat infantry are advancing, but they're probably going to get. I mean, they might place. They might get their um, hooks up. No. <laughs> They've popped out of their cover, thinking, haha, I know what we'll do. Devilishly sneaky. Actually, it's quite terrible. Because you're going to break. I mean, yeah, there's no point playing this on regular speed. They're just going to get pushed away immediately. I mean, you guys might actually make it onto the walls, which if you do, that's not a problem. Now, someone's made some movements up here. The infantry guards are wavering. They've broken. They've all... And they've made it onto the wall. Uh, I appear to have moved an infantry unit that should not have been moved. You men go over here. You men get up here. I mean, I could chase them down and kill them with my cavalry, but there's no point. They're probably going to be killed. Or destroyed as soon as they've been as soon as they exit the campaign map. Yeah, come on, speed is back up again. You men go here, you men go here. There you go, now they're bringing up more artillery. Now they might make a breach. I mean, I know it's, it seems a bit stupid me playing it at this speed, but... There's no... What's the point of playing at regular speed? Right now, nothing's... Nothing of note is happening. Yeah, they might send some cavalry to try to deal with our cavalry, but... You know... Kill the crew. Oh, here comes Swiss pikemen. Kill the last of the howitzer guys. And run on. Run away from the pikes. Run into the horse artillery. Break off! The mortars are coming! There we go. Now kill the mortar battery. Get the light cavalry away.
run them away long enough to get the keep the get the lancer guards away from their pikemen. And I'll turn around and engage the lancer guards. No, ch no charging is what they want to do. We need to absorb their losses. There we go, my infantry line. Get out here. Although they, they're not going to be able to shoot because they have guys stuck on the gates. Bring the cavalry back. How oh, it says provide close support. Oh, they're charging. You're ready to engage. Oh, yeah, that did, he didn't like that. deal with them. You can row if you like. You did good work. Horse are getting a bit cocky. Those are the fifth horse guards. Yeah, these guys have men stuck on the gate, so they can't do anything useful. How it says switched around shot, bombard the pikes. Chase down the garrison guards. They're the one that started this melee engagement. They can finish it. Kill the line. Okay, let's actually try to kill them. Some men are still stuck trying to get out of the city. Garrison guards are trying to charge us. Let's kill the last of this infantry unit, then we'll pull back behind the behind our infantry line. Line infantry guards do not like the garrison guard counterparts very much. Is everyone in no, there's still a bunch of people by the gates, so they're not going to be able to shoot. They're going to be stuck doing melee engagements. Superb. Get my cavalry around to take out their general. Kill both these gunners. There we oh yeah, we killed the gunners, they couldn't get in, so it's an instant victory. Yeah, bit bit crappy. Back you go. 
and see if there's any more where that came from. But yeah, I think I do need to make peace with with um, Russia just so I can pull some troops back from Warsaw and get fighting again. Yeah, Russia is... Moscow's still in the hands of Sweden, but Russia's got plenty of troops. Yeah, I think it's it's in my interests at this point, I think, to let Russia fight Sweden. Rather than me fighting them. I mean, I won't, I won't transfer any forces from the east to the west. They'll stay where they are. But they will, I'll be able to spend more money in the West where I need to. Tactical retreat, yeah, because Sweden took Kazan. So if we take Ufa, demand the surrender, diplomacy, major nations, Russia. Request peace and let's trade. Yes. Oh, glorious day. Absolutely. Let's see if we can trade with Sweden. No, they're not interested. Okay. Trouble is, it does cut off the Don somewhat. You men get to the coast, then we'll shift you over to the Don. Okay, let's keep up the port upgrade campaign. Uh, let's get better roads. It, it's definitely in my interest to have good road connections over here. Um... Right, 21,000. We can replenish the troops in the in Breslau. Warsaw, you don't need this extra army. What well, would be quite spiffy is like potentially use both these armies in a bit of a campaign to threaten the eastern edge of the Prussian Empire. What I do need to do is... Luca, who's replenishing pretty heavily. Get him some support. So you're replenishing a bunch of troops there. You've got militia and conscript. Okay, let's. Flat recruitment upgrades. Actually, maybe not the Naval College. We don't really need that. Giancarlo. Let's get Prague to recruit a turn's worth of infantry. Here in Austria, we probably want... Well, we need some more elite infantry here for sure. some really quite good artillery. Mercenaries, engineers, get some guerrilla mercenaries, then we need... But to be fair, I can't actually get the last two units of line. That'll do. Build them up to strength. The main thing is to see what happens here. If Britain attacks Rome, then this force will deploy. Well, to be honest, they might deploy now anyway. I don't think I can really afford to wait. If we lose Rome, that's quite an important... Well, we could try and defend the city. 
we land close enough nearby, we can de help defend the city itself. We've got a decent garrison here at um, Cairo. If the if Spain does come for us again, we can do something about it. Uh, make sure these are replenishing. Okay, 3,700. That'll be enough for us to go on a small campaign against the Prussians here. I was hoping they'd come in as reinforcement, but I guess they don't have the movement points. Yeah, if we can threaten Gdansk and the eastern edge of the Prussian Empire, they're going to have to move troops um, from the Prague front east to try and fill in those gaps. <laughs> Duke of Wellington, let's see who pounds the longest. Dear, oh dear. Okay, artillery, focus on the cavalry. Okay, deploy our infantry in one formation. Put our elites on the right. Skirmishes left. Okay, I want. Okay, then you guys. Okay, let's let them come at us. They've got no artillery. Let's move the flanks in. That might have been what they were waiting for. Drop into squares. Heavy cavalry versus gendarmerie. I know who I back, especially if they're already wavering from the musket fire. Retarget my artillery because they're going to start killing each other soon. The gendarmerie has shattered. Push around the flank. Attack the gendarmerie. Grenadiers got caught out of... Well, they were out of square formation, but the square got broken. Not worried about the Lambert militia. We want the guards. To make my artillery engage this last unit of dragoons. Cavalry push forward. Chamfer the corner off here a bit. Okay, broken. Cressier, go get the Dragoons. Let's get ready to retarget the guns. Let's get my general involved. Oh, and our regiment of horse back here. I forgot about them. Artillery ceasefire. Infantry ceasefire. So let's focus on the garrison guards. Hmm. 
you men chase after garrison guards. All the dragoons have dismounted, like the fools they are. General, go after the Lanvin militia. Ooh, garrison guards still active at the rear. Push up. General can chase down the militia, that's fine. Six guardsmen left to kill. Excellent. Let's run the heavy cavalry around the militia, around the um, garrison guards here. Make sure these infantry are Fire it will on. Excellent. I'm taking the losses, but I don't mind. Let's get around the back of these garrison guards, try to force them to abandon their position. Kill the last of these garrison guards. Right, go after those dragoons. Yeah, bayonet ch cavalry charge them in the rear. Send in the infantry to support the attack. Kill the last couple of guards with the regiment of horse. Nice. They're wavering because they're concerned that they've been attacked in the rear. A line infantry is advancing up. Quite nicely, actually. There we go. Anyone who isn't cavalry, get out of the way. There we go. The large group of troops next to the general is just another is a large unit of militia not really worried about them you can try go for them now but they're going to be very close to the edge of the map yeah they're going to make it but we'll get a few nice victory so that's the first enemy force dealt with let's advance up and deal with Wilfred Burkhardt similar composition less much less cavalry to deal with let's deal with them excellent 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 if we take Gdansk we will probably have to fortify it against a future Russian attack from Konigsberg and we'll have to build a little bit of a garrison but I'd like these forces to really swing west so my foot artillery is going to focus on counter battery off the bat but largely we're going to do the same again
Nice. Okay. Warband. Combine the cavalry. Nice. Oh, it's uh, with quick climb, go after the Lancer guards. Looks like he's going to bombard the Bajis out of these demi cannons. The Lancer guards are charging. Quick climb is already being used. They're going to charge into my line. They're going to get picked apart by my musketry. Broken, shattered, beautiful. Whip around the flank a bit. Swiss Grenadiers are out on the left, that's handy. Let's engage the Swiss line. Pushing up ground. There we go. Now they be they can begin to engage. But the twenty fifth is actually a unbloodied unit. Go on, warband, start to pick off some of these Swiss grenadiers. Make sure my cavalry's committed. Get in here. Okay, let's try smash the Swiss grenadiers. Both of these units together should do it. my cavalry unit through the middle. Through that. Through the unit. Push through. You want to try and hit the seven light foot. Excellent. My cavalry force push on. My general can deal with the Swiss Grenadiers. They did have stakes deployed, but as long as we don't turn back on ourselves. All on to the Lambert Militia. Kill the General's bodyguard. And chase down the 18th Regiment. General is working the Grenadiers. Go and kill the General. Killed their general. Make sure the artillery does stop shooting. Okay, 
kill that last Swiss Grenadier. Kill the last of those light infantry. Hey, their infantry's come back. focusing on my cavalry attacking the singleton targets chiefly because it's a these guys have to move over here anyway and by doing this it improves the pathfinding of the 11th force guards better engaged superior line how it says engage the militia to the rear Lanvair Militia, Line Infantry. All of you try go for the Swiss Line. Be ready to engage these units as they break. Okay, you man focus on the Lanvair Militia. No, they're going to escape. In which case, then I'd rather kill the superior line. You're going to get shot by your own side. That's a risk. Risk I am willing to take. Artillery ceasefire. And right, we're going to continue. Actually, you can try and kill them, Lanvin militia. Probably don't need. These units should do it. Yeah, they have routed through buildings. That always makes... That spreads the unit out quite a lot. Usually really goofs up the pathfinding, having spread out units. It's two units... One unit left. Get him! Got him. Same over here with the Lanvin Militia, because they've spread out. Four left, and they're all here. Good stuff. Decisive victory. Good words. Bonk. Excellent. So you men can replenish. In theory, you men could could continue the attack, but I'm not going to. We're going to maintain a more coherent front line. Let's repair the industrial building. We've got 1,200 gold. Let's... 1200. Yeah, let's do some repairs, I suppose. And you. Yeah, you're recruiting buildings. Okay, Kiev. Let's build a church school. Let's begin converting people to the true religion of Catholicism. That's your cask. Start to build up a bit of the defensive force that we wanted to build over here. Astrakhan's growing the Catholic, Catholic population quite handily. Good. Let's get one of these guys over to Moscow to keep an eye on what's going on over there. You're a bit isolated now here at Kazan. And that's kind of ideal. I want them to fight against each other so that I can focus on over here for a bit. Ideally, take Gdansk, push, attack these bridges, and potentially start to threaten Berlin from the northeast. Two turns till a bunch of technology is done. Let's hit end turn and let things happen.
the army didn't attack Rome. Instead, they decided to <laughs> advance around the peninsula. Prussia is gaining their strength. Yeah, they're centralizing their forces around Dresden. In which case we need to keep fortifying our front line and exploit the weaknesses they've got in other areas like Gdansk. See Russia, now we're not at war, you can go get after Sweden. Go after Sweden and allow us to focus our efforts against the Prussians. So what is Sweden going to do? I mean, if they declare war on us, that's truly insane. They've taken Vilnius. That means Poland and Lithuania must be looking very peaky. Genoa's going to invade someone. That's fun, because it's not us. They can do whatever they like around the world, as long as it's nothing to do with me. Oh, that's true. I need to keep supporting the Americans a bit more. I want them to become a, a cool late-game threat. Why are we unfriendly, United States? I'm going to offer you a cool five grand. First rate ship of the line. <laughs> Wait. Am I in the... Am I in the... What? I mean, I know I built first rate ships of the line, but I'm sure I've seen the enemy have them as well. Hmm. War declared between Poland, Lithuania, and the 13 colonies. Don't make me do it, Poland. If, you could, if they go after Klausenberg, we have to move in. We can't... That, that is not going to stand. I'm not going to let them get away with that. Okay, let's bring our... Okay, just get them across the river. Or across the Sea of Azov. Okay, Andranopol. Okay, ports, ports, ports. We can upgrade Batumi and Sevastopol. So you're still replenishing. You are replenishing. Okay, let's kick. There we go. Okay, let's kick two more units of conscripts out. Okay, we're just going to keep stockpiling line infantry because we're not going to let them we're not going to let them build up well we're not, we're not going to let them out build us i should say let's push one of these conscript units up to that front these guys have slowly been chipped away you going to come at us british army Um, hmm. See, I still feel compelled to have troops against my protecting my eastern front. Okay, 
Okay, let's get better roads. Upgrade a couple of these industrial buildings. What's over here? Full army in the city. I think I've got to push you up. Ooh, okay, couple full. Oh, they're de potentially depleted armies. Nerio Balbus, engage Herbert Rouge. See if you bring in the reinforcements. You do. Excellent. Okay. Let's attack. If nothing else, if we take it down, that's yet another source of income removed from the Prussians and potentially that leads them further down the route towards financial collapse. Where they start seeing desertions. It probably won't. But we have to try, damn it. So we're going to want to advance up pretty quickly. The first force that we're facing off against isn't a problem. It's the the reinforcements. Even then, they're not a problem. Um, but it would be good if we could attack as aggressively as possible. Coming in directly behind them. Run up as quickly as we can. Maybe keep my pikemen more in the center. The enemy reinforcements don't have artillery. So that's not a threat. Bombarding. Keep my cavalry in reserve. We're going to get into a short range musket fight. Oh no, the Freikorps, the only thing that stuck around. Killed the enemy general. Okay, right, here comes the enemy. Cavalry, let's start to try and. The Gendarmerie, Horse Grenadier Guards, Gendarmerie. They got a few units of Guard de Corps coming in. Those are what I want things to focus on. coming in. I want to keep the artillery engaging. Oh, the guard decals just charging straight in. If you give them a volley, no. Nope. Squares it is. Oh, the howitzer crews are still firing quick climb at us even though they've lost their guns. Superb. Very well. Let's keep our artillery focusing on their cavalry force. That's what we need to deal with first and foremost. Gendarmerie moving in. Guard de Corps moving in. Charging. Mm. 
another guard to call moving in. Don't worry, these guys have at least they have pikemen to deal with stuff. And now it's their re the militia coming in. Hey pikemen, clear him out. Okay, let's retarget our artillery. Okay, there we go. Not massive casualties. Push it up. Unlike this one, where they're winning decisively, they're doing really well against the 86th Regiment, but my pikes are doing really well against them. Okay, push it up. Such, such concentrated troops. Got new men, reload and fire as fast as you can. Quick claim came in, that was beautiful. <laughs> they can't deal with our chemical warfare. Shattered, 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 routing, guard decor coming back. They're going to go after my flank. No, nope, apparently not. Stay where they are for now, while the guard decor can't work out where to go. Seven, forty-four, thirty-nine, thirty-eight. 44, 39, wavering, broken, now they're going to drop like flies. Go on, my conscripts have to spar with the gendarmerie. <laughs> Is maintain the bombardment. Hey, my conscript stood up to them. Yay! Okay, you guys push through the town like so. Keep smashing them. They are not long for this world. Okay. Push up to here. Push up. Look at this poor fellow, he's getting up, <laughs> facing the wrong way. Oh boy. Whew, what a crazy dream. I dreamt I was fighting the Venetians. How mad is that? It's going to get a lot madder. Everybody's 
getting in position to shoot. We've only lost 15 men, you should be doing fine. Until you're not. There we go, now, now they're getting it. Nice. So that's the Gdansk garrison destroyed. Could chase them down, but yeah. Let's fight it. Okay. Yeah, you keep... You keep... Um, <laughs> keep defending yourself. Luca, Komen... Yeah, you're going to be at full strength soon. Let's recruit... Another general, Simone Ferrari. Altri ordini. Oh, I don't really like lances. Yeah, let's get some twelve pounders. They're fun. Get a unit of Swiss pikes. Get a unit of. Swiss line. Awesome. 42,000 income. Our trade is unimpeded. It's going to be unfortunate if we lose, if they take Transylvania. We'll have to move in and take it back or we'll take it from them. My agents are on the move. If they push us too hard, we will fall back. I just want them to, to come just close enough. That's the wrong army. That's this bridge down here. No. Opportunity to intercept, yes, because it will destroy. We can destroy the garrison that gets generated. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for some more warfare against the Prussians. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>